Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusa Lachey, if you don't know already. And today we are gonna be getting into some hats. I always talk about how accessorizing is key. It can really make or break an outfit. And then I realized like, I don't actually have that many videos on my channel about any accessories, right? So we are going to fix that, okay, starting from today. I'm going to be taking you guys through my winter hat collection. Some of these hats can obviously be worn outside of winter as well. Also, I'm going to be talking you guys through like how I would typically wear them and style them. I will do my best to link all of these items down below, but I will not be able to get the links for all of these because some of them I bought, you know, in store and like boutiques and different places. So I will definitely find similar products for the products that I can't get the direct link for. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first up we have a beanie. I feel like it is so vital for everyone to have a beanie in their closet because if you live in a particular place, you just get to a point in the winter where it's just like, I don't care how cute my hairstyle is, my head needs to be covered because it's just way too cold out in these streets. I love beanies, especially when my hair is down or when I have braids or a silk press, but of course it can go with a a lot of other hairstyles like low puffy puffs <laughs> this one is a hat that i featured on one of my christian apparel hauls a couple years back it says i came up but then it's crossed out and it says god came through it's cute it's warm like i love looks like these it's just giving me i'm going to a lodge vibes you know what i'm saying hats like this i typically tend to wear them with more dressed down pieces but everybody's style is different i've definitely seen some streetwear styles where people can rock a dressy look in a beanie and it looks good that may not be everybody's portion though okay that may not be everybody's path in life i'm gonna just stay in my lane okay where i know that i can rock a beanie and it could look fashionable okay and you could definitely have fun with your beanie so obviously this has a text on on it there's stuff with like graphics on it so just have fun with it and that's the thing about winter too is sometimes if you're in a place that gets really cold some people feel like you can't wear color you can't wear like fun things but you absolutely can so here is another beanie that I have I picked this up a while back it's from H&M it's just a nice mustard color and this is what I'm talking about when I say you know you can just wear different color accessories and kind of just work with it in the winter time so that you're not always sticking to like the basic colors so this color is really nice to me something that I like to do with my beanies there's just like extra fabric to me here because I don't always want to fold mine so what I do is kind of like try to slouch it so that it's not like all this fabric is just sitting up in the front and of course a beanie is not like for everybody but there are just so many hats and so many styles of hats out there that like there's just gotta be one for everybody speaking of which let's move on to the next item okay next up these are called baker boy hats and i love them the only downside is that i feel like every pair that i get is just like too small for my head so i really don't wear them as much as i would like to i'm not gonna attempt to put this on this one has a little bit more room because the back has some stretch i just can't wear it for like like an extremely long period of time. Ooh child, ooh child, this is tight. All right y'all, this this how y'all know I love you guys, okay? Cause I'm out here suffering in these streets. Might get a whole line on my forehead for y'all, but it's okay. Okay y'all, so this is the gist of the hat, okay? Like it's, it, it, it can look much better, but this is just what y'all gonna have to take. But I love Baker Boy hats. I feel like it's giving me vintage officer vibes okay and the great thing about this hat is i feel like you can wear it definitely with a dressier look but you can also wear it with a dress down look you can wear this with just an all black look and it'll bring something exciting to the table now in this case there is like a gold link chain on this one which definitely makes it more classy looking but like my head don't feel too good after like a few minutes so i'm gonna take this off okay because we're not gonna be playing these games out here all right y'all next up we have fun Adoras. I do want to show you guys these colors in particular because like I said a lot of people feel like you know once you hit fall once you hit winter you can't wear any bold colors no that is incorrect you can absolutely still pop 
Okay, you, you can just pop. I have a whole video on how to look fashionable in the winter time and it really has to do with your outerwear. If your outerwear is on point, okay, the rest of your outfit can be as plain as possible. Most of the time you're probably gonna be wearing your outerwear. I'll show you guys a picture of me wearing this pink hat. But I wish I wore them more often. I just feel like I prefer to wear these kinds of hats with certain hairstyles. So this this is not one of those hairstyles. I would do this more with like a long hair. That's probably gonna be like on the straighter side or braids or something. When it comes to fedoras, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of wearing it this way. It just fits on my head a little bit better this way, but I don't really like wearing it this way. I like wearing it more like this way, okay? Like we give him Pharrell vibes, we give him Neo vibes. Neo don't be taking off his hat half the, but we're not gonna get into that. That has nothing to do with anything. The great thing about fedoras is that they immediately dress up an outfit. Whether you wear it with sweatpants and a t-shirt, you throw on a fedora, it's dressed up now. This used to be like the brunch staple. I don't know if it still is, but like that like Saturday brunch staple. Like when you real serious about brunch, you got your whole crew, you got your whole like outfit set, you're gonna see a fedora somewhere in that group. I just love that it can go with so much, but I will say I don't think it's for everybody. This out of all hats, it's just, it's not for everybody. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys a hat that I haven't gotten a chance to wear yet. I've really been into fur bucket hats lately. This one in particular, it stands out more than the regular bucket hat because not only is it cow print, it's pink and white cow print. And I just wanted to go for this color because I just want something different. I don't want like a regular black and white one. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, this ain't too shabby with this wig. Okay, so something like this could work out. This is giving me like old school vibes, okay? We all know back in the day when bucket hats were like a thing. Bucket hats, I feel, are so cool to bring it out once in a while. Just surprise them. I would wear this with a more street style kind of look, but I feel like the, the hat itself is making a statement. Like you don't have to have a crazy outfit when you have a hat like this. I got this off of Amazon. Amazon. This is kind of giving me Cameron vibes, you know, when he was wearing that pink fur, except I'm wearing like a pink and white fur bucket hat. But it's giving, mm, I'm here for it. I'm here. All right, y'all, I'm having so much fun. But before I move forward, you know, please do your girl a solid and make sure that you press that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And please also turn on that b -b -b bell notification button so that anytime I post, you will be up to date. And with that being said, we got some more hats to try on, all right? So let's go. Next up, we have one of my favorite hats in the whole wide world. Berets, okay? Like, wee oui, wee. Oui. Anytime I find an outfit that goes really well with berets, I get super excited. When it comes to berets, depending on like what I'm wearing it with, sometimes you gotta adjust the hat shape. Do I not look icy? Guys, do not get me started on berets, okay? Normally I do wear this with a more dressy look. I'm talking like I got my little fancy boots on, I have my little cute sweater, or like my little cute dress or skirt with stockings. If I'm wear beret, I'm gonna go all out. Oh, <laughs> you know RJ. I think it's so adorable, no matter also what age group you're in, whether you're younger, whether you're older. They just look good on everybody to be like, okay, hold on, wait, pause, pause, pause. They look good on most women to me. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in a beret and was just like, ooh. So that's a good sign. Okay, y'all, so next up we have a hat that, it's not necessarily a winter hat. Honestly, you could wear every season, a baseball cap. It is so great for like running errands. If you're having a bad hair day the sun is beaming hot and you need some shade i mean it's just great for a lot of different things the design is giving me kind of like quilted northern vibes and normally i do not like that kind of style on anything unless it's my toilet tissue but in this case i really liked it and i love the color it's like this nice very cold gray it's one of those kinds of hats that i feel like i would see in like a yeezy show like you wear something real modern and form fitting and then you throw on a hat and that's the other thing about baseball caps if you get a certain kind it's usually adjustable so even if I'm wearing a unit I can like adjust it to my knees the funny thing about baseball caps though is some people might think like everybody can wear a baseball cap actually baseball caps look kind of weird on some people <laughs> as much as this seems like a staple 
I would not recommend it for everybody. It's just not suitable for everybody. You would think so with a baseball cap, but no. That's just me. Y'all probably might even think it don't look good on me, right? So there's that. Normally I wear this with like more dressed down looks. So you would probably not catch me with this and this top together. All right, y'all. So next up, I'm giving y'all full on ski vibes. I was supposed to go skiing in this, but I never made it. I have a whole vlog on this from a couple years back. It was a whole group trip. We, di we didn't make it. But this would be great for if I ever go skiing, this furry headband situation. I know this is not a full hat, but it is, you know, still within the headgear realm. It's so cute. If I'm wearing this with a unit like I am right now, my head is gonna be warm because not only is the unit covering my actual scalp, but then I also have this like covering my ears and perimeters. So it really does work out and it really is functional. Like it's super warm. and. And it's super fashionable so you're really getting best of both worlds you don't have to compromise it's just really giving me those rich auntie vibes and I could not resist like how how could you all right y'all so last but not least we have yet another piece of headgear that isn't necessarily a hat but because it is considered headgear I'm just gonna throw this in it's also something that if you know me you know that I wear these quite often earmuffs the reason why I started becoming a really big fan of earmuffs is because there'll be so many times where my hair just looks too cute okay <laughs> and I wasn't willing to sacrifice putting on a hat so I would wear earmuffs to at least cover my ears I started in like high school I think and I just never looked back I used to have these peachy pink earmuffs that I was like known for I would just wear them with every outfit and then I graduated you know I started getting some more classy earmuffs again it's it's giving those ski vibes <sighs> I clearly need to go ski okay I'm prone to grabbing earmuffs more than I am hats, at least in the winter. Alrighty peeps, so that is it for all of my headgear for the most part. Let me know if you guys are interested in more of these like accessory type videos. I hope to also do like a jewelry video for you guys. Let me know what you're interested in and let me know if any of these were like your favorite hat. What is your favorite kind of hat if you have any? Let's just make this a conversation down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. Please not forget to subscribe before you leave. Do not have your girl out here begging. So just make it official okay and also press that bell notification button so that when I post you'll be up to date. I appreciate you all. Thank you guys for 9k. I'm so grateful. God bless you all for real. I will see you guys in my next video next Sunday. Deuces.